All right, Corinne Hawthorne is best known for her appearance on season eight of The Voice. She's carved a lane of her own, bringing a refreshing blend of gospel, pop, hip hop, and R&B. She joins us now with details on her new album, On God, which dropped today. Welcome. Yes, thank you guys for having me. I'm so excited to be here. We had, we are so thrilled to have you in studio with us. Tell us what this album means to you. You know what? It means the world to me. I think it came at a very important time in my life. I've been singing ever since I was seven years old. As you see on The Voice, I was only 16. So for this, has been a very long journey for me. Me. Mm -hmm. I never thought that I could sing gospel music because my, I never sounded like a traditional gospel artist. Mm -hmm. Even though I grew up in church, I love God. I just never thought that it was for me. And for God to open up so many doors for me to be able to be creative and yes. step outside of the box. And I get to see the impact that it's having on people's lives yeah. and other people who have similar stories that they don't look traditional all right they aren't doing things in a typical way and god is still using them so uh -huh. i'm grateful this album means everything to me it feels like i'm finally stepping into my artistry i don't have the the box or the expectations yes. over me and yes. i can just be so yeah it all means right a so lot. this is your third album yes right is. okay and what are some of the songs what are the songs you're what's the song you're gonna sing for us today look at god look at god mm -hmm. that's <laughs> that's what we do when it happens in our lives we're like look at god yes. right. so reminder mm -hmm. is would you say that that's what the song 100 percent the song is definitely about, you know, I think we've all been through things in our lives where we pray for God to step in for us and he's done it. But you always might step into a trial again and you forget. So this song is about reminding us that God can do everything that he's done already and mm -hmm. so much more. So it's a thankful song, but it's also a reminder. Look at God because he can do it. So right. yes, this Absolutely. is a bop. And so, this is a bop. <laughs> and so often, I mean, every day, think about all of us. You say, oh, thank God. You know, so we bring him into, you know, our yeah, everyday lives sure. more often than, they, than we even think. For sure, yeah. Even you know? without thinking about it, I think even as a saying, something good happens and people are like, well, look at God. Yes, so yeah, yes. yes. Yeah, perfect spin on that. And this yes. is just a song of thankfulness and to just kind of manifest blessings over your life. Let me mm -hmm. ask you, how have other gospel artists received you? Because you didn't necessarily do the traditional, right. oh, for sure. you, know, you know what I'm saying? 100%. You gave it a little yeah. R&B, a little yeah. hip hop flair. Mm -hmm. And I think that's going to appeal to a different audience. Yes. It is. And you know what? It gets really hard sometimes. I get a lot of backlash on the internet. Oh. I get a lot of backlash from a lot of older traditional people, which is why it was really hard for me. This is my third album. I feel like the last two albums, I kind of tried to stay in a very strict path. Like, I can't do this. I can't mm, yeah. remix these certain songs. But in this album, I said, you know what? I know what God is calling me to. Mm -hmm. I see the impact that this is having on people outside of the church yes. who mm -hmm. have relationships with God, but they might not just be super religious or they might not want to do it the old way. So I'm just grateful. It's not easy, but you know what? We're creating a new path and a new lane, and that's it's not going to be a pioneer. Easy. Yeah, yeah. You know? for and, sure. And attracting a younger audience for sure. Too. You know, obviously gospel, R and B, yeah. but a little bit of dance too. For a sure. Little bit of yes. Pop that, you, pop that you're pop, attracting yes. a young crowd. All of that. And I grew up on. So I am an OD at heart. Mm -hmm. Aretha Franklin, Anita mm -hmm. Baker, James Brown. And look at what they have done. For as sure. Far as the From music. Yeah. they started yes, in, the in the church. church. And then, and then they, so the story honestly just keeps repeating itself. I think. That people forget sometimes and they just get caught. And that's why into, you're here. Yeah, and that's why I'm them, here. To, to remind, remind them. That's right. <laughs> look at God. <laughs> look at God. And look at God. Because you're also yeah. branching out into acting. Mm -hmm. For sure. Yes. Yeah. I did a movie last year called Praise This on Peacock. Peacock. Yeah. Yes. It was my first experience to be on a, a feature film as your first acting experience. It's insane, but I'm grateful. And now I got the acting bug. Yeah. So I'm like, we're going to do this. We're going to yes. do some more. Yes. Excellent. Yeah. All right. So and you're going to perform for us too. Yes, exactly. Excellent. Corinne, thank you. Thank you so much and again you're going to perform for us in just a little bit look at god yeah download <laughs> it where anywhere you can get your music you download right. that today, today.